What's up, everybody? I'm Novo coming at you with another one. So we had the pump and now the dump. Um, we did strike that uh, 50 EMA and we see a nice long wick bouncing back up and then a close up around 33K or so. Um, but it's not over. Don't be freaking out. We could have uh, more continued down. Remember that uh, this may become a consolidation bull, right? So this could be profit taking and then coming back down again. And we're going to test a certain price level. Uh, we tested the 29 and a half. Um, now we'll probably test the, um, what is that, $31,000 mark. So let's move that up. Number 31. And uh, I do see something here too. So maybe we'll challenge 32 first, pump, and then grab the 31. You got to think like you're being manipulated. What do you want? And what will likely happen is the opposite, right? Um, so now for resistance in time, price and time, we need to overcome that angle right there make that yellow um and also this angle and then i basically did a clone no it's not exact i don't know why uh trading view does that something with my settings uh so did a clone and now we've got to watch and see where the bottom base is going to be um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking off of this guy and we touched and there's the 50 there. So we're now looking at the 50 for support. Um, this is that big 350. As long as we stay above that, uh, we should be okay. Uh, let's see what the rabbit hole says. Oh, I don't, there it is. Do, 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 do. Okay, so 2050 and 200 was the three resistance. This might be our future resistance, so maybe the tunnel will be up that way. And if that's the case, then maybe we're looking again at this being resistance. Clone. And if we do see a tunnel change, we may go like so. So we'll just have to uh, watch for that. Lower time frames. What did it look like? Uh, below the 200 on the four. And obviously super crash on the lower time frames, right? So this is the, oops, this is the, the blood and guts so uh, on the 15 we broke the uh what is that the 111 and we're about to challenge the 350 once we go above 350 that will be strong it could be that uh that is going to be our turning point around 34,000, and then we'll probably come back down and try and grab that 32 33 uh, back up go auto um okay so so far this looks pretty bullish we were expecting a sell-off right um the case for the bulls let's just get rid of all of this stuff now and that if somebody knows how to delete everything without deleting well you know what i mean um, let me know because that's that's becoming a bit of a pain. Uh, okay, so the 20 weaker is up here. Uh, we need this guy. We need this guy to keep going up. Uh, eventually, price will meet the 20 for the bounce. Don't know where that's going to happen right now. 
not bothering to calculate. So uh, we've had a nice little run. Now we have two candles um, down. I think the third candle will throw us off, uh, but I think we're still going to come down and um, test these lower levels again on the weekly. Uh, if I get rid of this guy. And eh, we're breaking out of that. Um, this looks like indecision to me, right? We had a wick here and a wick here, and that probably prompted the sell-off. That wick looks like about 50% of the previous wick. And now we've got that, uh, that maneuver going down like we drew. So... Um, what does it looks like the 20 will meet what well, might meet earlier, but the triangle of the 20 is mid February. So we could be regressing. People might be buying and taking profits and then waiting for um, a lower position. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and this is what scares me. Delete. This is what scares me. The size of that wick. Um, we pumped all the way up, and then there was heavy, heavy selling pressure down to here. Um, and that worries me because look at that. That's the last time we had one. <coughs> Excuse me. So next month we may see a repeat candle of what we see here um so just a little bit above a little bit above uh and let's talk this wick so maybe a little bit above there will be the close uh, and that matched up. So uh, we need January to finish off to see where the next um, candle close is going to be. And then the February one, I think, will mimic this guy. And if that's the case, the next month will be blood and guts and then hopefully uh, come back up. Uh, but you can see where the support levels are going to be. It'll be back up here. So, you know, we I'm I'm thinking fractal wise, we may see something like this. We also may see something like this guy right here, uh, because if we go to weekly, that's kind of what's playing out. We don't know which cycle is repeating itself right now. So we'll have to wait and see. See, look at this. I don't know what this. Uh, doji is called but look at that we opened shot all the way up came down around here and then we closed that was a signal that the top was in uh, for this cycle and we're getting that on the monthly right this one is like if i compress this that would just look like a regular doji and yeah i mean if this was two three bucks that's that's going to look normal. We know there's a pullback coming. Um, but because it's monthly, uh, that that kind of worries me. Uh, we don't know where we're going to dip down to. Uh, are we going to dip down to here? Oh, well, that's possible. I think that would be the ultimate floor. If it ever got down that low, people would be smacking their lips trying to get in on that deal. Uh, we can see the confluence of the close and the open. Um, so I would call that the absolute floor. Don't think we'll, we'll see that. Um, I would like to see this because then the next month we may have an opportunity of uh, grabbing that, that 20, 20K or whatever. We'll have to wait and see. So let's see if that guy is here, this guy will be the hunt. And we got down to the open 
So down to the open, or was it just above? Oh, we got like just above. So we'll have to wait and see. I don't, I don't see anywhere else that could show support. So, um, you got to play both sides, right? So the bears are waiting for that. Um, the bulls are getting heavy pressure. I don't think we'll go down around 14. Um, that would be just absolutely uh, horrifying. <laughs> but you can see that we, well, I guess I'd have to move that up right there. Yeah, that lines up. There's the resistance and then support as we take off. So I want to argue that that is our new support structure if we ever go down that low. So um, that would be my target in the next coming months. And let's see if this will go an even nine. That looks better. Um, yeah, so there we go. That's what I'm looking long term. Um, this this needs to be overcome in the following month. Uh, I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. I, we're probably going to see heavy resistance on the weekly. It looks like that would be right about there, which the resistance was met. So that means the next one would be right about there. Trade safe.